Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I just wanna sit down and play with some new makeup and chat, sort of catch up and do just like a chatty get ready with me. But most of the makeup is going to be actually drugstore products, which I don't often do on my channel. I don't really know how you guys feel about it. You'll have to let me know. Uh, I tend to just prefer high-end makeup, to be honest. When I find a drugstore product that really, really impresses me, I will share it with you guys. But a lot of the times, I have a hard time finding the new drugstore products in store near me. So I feel like I have to do like a wild goose chase, like ordering from this website and this website and this website. And I find it really hard to get all of the products because they're just not in store in a timely manner close to me. But I did sort of keep an eye on the Ulta uh, website and I did pick up some products. So I wanna play around with the e.l.f. Luminous blushes. I picked up two different shades. I also have quite a bit of products from Essence, which I thought may become dupes of other products. So I have the Essence Essence Jelly Primer. This is a gripping primer as well as the Glow Serum and this is a watermelon glow serum. So I feel like glow recipe vibes, milk makeup vibes. I also picked up this from Pacifica. This is the Sun Dreams bronzer. So this is a cream bronzer. This is huge by the way. Like I really don't know who needs this much cream bronzer, but we're gonna try it out. And then I also grabbed the Essence 16 Hour Cover and Last Powder Foundation, as well as the NYX Milky Gloss. I love these, but this shade in the color Melon really spoke to me. And then with that, ColourPop sent me their new collection. So I have these little palettes that it's almost like a seashell sort of collection, so I thought we could maybe play with this palette, and then also a highlighting palette as well. And then I also did get my my uh, full size of the Givenchy skin caring matte foundation in. So it's kind of like mostly drugstore. We'll throw in some other products as we go, but I really just want to get ready together, hang out and chat. So I will link all the products that I talked about today down below in my description box. If you're new here, I hope you'll subscribe. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get into it. So I had my Too Faced Watermelon Pillow Balm on, but I want to just put this on to show you the color. This is the new Lawless Forget the Filler, which is one of my favorite glosses, but this is in a new Cherry Vanilla shade. It's a beautiful red sort of shade, which I feel like is all the rage right now. So this is what it looks like, and it smells so good. It smells like cherries. So I'm just going to apply this. I always apply some sort of like balm, and I already know I love the formula on this but it definitely has a light cherry tint to it so i actually purchased this and then got the pr literally like two hours after i bought it and i was like what so i don't know i have an extra one i mean i'll end up using it or gifting it to someone so for eyeshadow i got the new collection in from ColourPop. i think this is like the seashell collection this is called the what the shell pressed powder palette so it's a nine pan palette and i haven't used I don't know, one of these palettes in this sort of packaging in a while. ColourPop sort of changes it up. I tend to use more of like the cardboard packaging, but this is in the plastic packaging. Ross goes downstairs playing with uh, the pet sitter. I have a new pet sitter here today, and I was like, just get ready, because he's on one today. So this is the color story in here. Okay, one thing I'm noticing off the bat, there's only two mattes, which I don't know how I feel about that. There's like this marble shade, which is definitely a super shock formula. Are all of these? No, this one isn't. Okay, so it looks like you have different formulas. Like some of these are super shocks. Only two mattes here, so you're kind of like pushed into doing, I guess it would make sense, like a mermaid sort of glowy look. So I'm gonna start out with this shade, of course. Okay, now that I look at it closely, this is a matte as well, but it just has glitter in it. So I'm actually going to, I think I'm gonna start out with this shade instead. I thought it was a glitter, but it's not. Let's see if it shows up here. It just has glitter in it, so it's like one of those. Oh yeah, it's showing up. It's one of those that has glitter in the matte formula. He and Winnie both are better. They haven't had symptoms of like their cough or anything for a while now, and they both finished all of their antibiotics, so I feel better about that as well. It was just kind of like all at once, everybody was getting, you know, kennel cough essentially. 
and that was not fun. So I'm gonna go in, now I am gonna go into this shade just to add a little bit more depth. But other than that, things have been good over here. I feel like I started getting back into filming and that just makes me feel so much better. I'm one of those people that when I don't work, I get really depressed. I'm not, I'm not happy not working or being like productive. Uh, so I'm feeling way better now that I've been back to like posting videos and it's just been much better for me. So I'm very thankful for that. Okay, I must be losing my mind. I think I just looked at the palette in the viewfinder and didn't actually take a look at it. This is also a matte, wow. Blonde moment. So this is a matte with shimmer. So there's actually four mattes in here, but two of them have shimmer in them or glitter in them, which really doesn't matter. How did I miss that? We will never know. So let's add some of that, why not? So I'm gonna go into that pink with a smaller brush. And I am gonna keep this lower. That's really pigmented. You know, ColourPop just releases so many products, I honestly cannot keep up with all of their collections. And I get uh, some of them in PR, and they don't tell you, like, what's coming, so... This just showed up, and I thought, you know what? It's actually interesting how there's really not many eyeshadow palettes right now, other than the new ABH, which I have been loving and I already reviewed. So has anybody else been watching Love Island? I talked about this in a previous video, how it was, like, pretty boring. I feel like it's getting a little bit better, but... I think Casa Amor is about to start and you know things just really heat up then. So I'm like pumped for that. So for the center of the lid, I'm trying to figure out which route I wanna go. I'm just gonna swatch these shimmer shades in here and see. Yeah, so they're all pretty, uh, well, I think this one's pretty. The peachy one, maybe we just stay peachy here, which this is not a super shock, this is just Okay, that's not enough contrast. So, you know, we're just gonna move back in. Let's see, maybe I'll go with the with the marbled one. This mauve one, is that weird? Hmm. I might have to pull in some of the brown matte shade. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this brown shade here just to create some more depth. I hope this doesn't get muddy. So I'm trying to keep this Pretty low here. It's really not looking the best, but you know, here we are. We're just playing. Okay, that's really actually looking pretty bad. What the heck is that? All right, is it just me or is that looking absolutely atrocious? Wow. I don't know how to fix that. I'm just gonna reinforce the middle shade. I'm gonna pull this up pretty high just to try to sort of remedy the patchiness sort of make that the main attraction. I'm gonna try to take a little bit of this shade up here and see if I can intensify the center. Just a little bit more, because I really don't like the way those uh, mats are looking. All right, so my wings are not even, they're way bigger than I thought. And then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna apply these large lashes just to distract from the look and I don't like these either. So we're just on a roller coaster here. Let's just keep it moving, it is what it is. I finally got a new Freck moisturizer. Mine was so old, it wasn't gone, but I just felt like I should probably get a new one. So I'm just gonna take this and just moisturize before we go in with the Essence primers. This may be one of my least favorite eye looks I've ever done, but here we are. So I'm gonna go ahead and use both of the Essence primers. This is a glow serum primer. So it's hydrating and smoothing with watermelon water and niacinamide. This is giving me glow recipe niacinamide dewdrops vibes. So I'm gonna pump this out and see, it smells like watermelon. Similar texture like a gel serum. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this to the skin. So the Glow Recipe Watermelon Dew Drops went like crazy viral. People were saying it's like glass skin in a jar. The watermelon scent on this is a little bit different, but I kind of feel like they were trying to dupe that. This has more of a gel-like feel. 
It doesn't feel overly thick or heavy. It definitely gave me a little bit of hydration to the skin, but it didn't add like a thick layer. But next I wanna go in with the Essence Fix and Last Makeup Gripping Jelly Primer. So this is free from alcohol and silicones, and it says it is a hydrating and gripping primer. Allow the formula several seconds to set to activate the full gripping effect and then apply foundation. So it looks like this. It has a light scent to it, and I'm just gonna use this all over if it's a gripping primer. So it says to give it several seconds to sort of get tacky, so I'm just kind of working it in and then we will maybe wait like 20, 30 seconds and see if it has that gripping effect. So while I let that set for a second, I am going to be using the Givenchy, this is the Prisme Libre Skin Curing Matte Foundation. I did first impressions with a sample in a previous video and I really liked it. So I picked up the shade 4N280. I felt like it was really hard to figure out the shades. I feel like now, okay, I feel like it's a gripping effect, but I don't feel like it's super intense. And I wonder if it's because I put the watermelon underneath. Like there's definitely a tack to it, but it doesn't feel like overly tacky. Yeah, I don't feel like it's gonna get any more tacky, so I'm gonna use my IT Cosmetics brush. I really liked this foundation when I used it for a first impression. I had a hard time choosing shades though. They run light, but I feel like this shade is gonna be okay. It's a little bit yellow, but... So I'm going in with a beauty blender now just to really press it into the skin. So this is an interesting formula because it is matte, but I feel like there is a glow to it. Now, of course, we did put those primers underneath, but even when I used this the other time, it does have a matte finish, but there's some sort of like luminosity, which I like. Usually when I hear that, I'm like, yeah, no, but I actually do see it with this foundation and it wore really nicely on me. Now, I don't know with, again, those Essence primers, how it's going to wear, but foundation is on. I wanna go into this Pacifica bronzer. So I don't use a ton of Pacifica products, but I know they're kind of coming out with more options recently. So this is called the Sun Dreams Bronze. This is $16. It is a creamy bronzer and contour. It says it melts into the skin. Buildable, creamy, shimmer-free. This is a huge, <laughs> huge component. So I picked up the shade Summer. Now they say this is a medium rich brown, but when you look on the website, the light shade looks like almost like my self tan. So I felt like I couldn't go there. And then if you go to the other shade Glow, it's a rich terracotta red, which obviously I don't want. And then there are some deep shades. So you have this deeper shade, and then even deeper. So the shade range kind of jumps quite a bit from the light and then you go like immediately to that. So I felt like the medium brown would be the best. This component, I can't get over it. You get one ounce. I need to check another cream bronzer, hold on. All right, so I just looked up the Charlotte Tilbury cream bronzer that's in the really large compact and you get 0.74 ounces of product in there. So in this you get one ounce, which is 29 grams versus the Charlotte Tilbury that is 21 grams. So this definitely is a lot of product. It's just in a different component. I mean, this is like a weapon. I could knock somebody out with this. It's very, very thin. And in terms of pigment, I would say it's more on the sheer side. Okay, so I'm gonna dip in and I'm just going to start on the forehead here. Even though this shade is supposed to be a medium brown, I still feel like it's leaning a little bit possibly red or like, I don't know. Okay, do I feel like that's patching? I feel like that's patching. Hold on, let's reroute here. Let me. <laughs> try again. I have the worst luck with cream bronzers. I see people literally just like blend in a second and I am sitting here like how is that possible? So I'm going to try my sponge which is what I usually use but again I see so many people just like use a brush and they just like do it so quickly and it looks like perfectly sculpted. Okay so I'm having better luck with the sponge. I would say this is more of a sheer formula. So you're gonna have to definitely build it up. So even though this is quite deep, because it is sheer, it's not like over the top. So this is what it's looking like. I almost feel like it is red toned, even though this is supposed to be the bronze. So I'm sort of wondering 
how red is the one that's supposed to be like the terracotta red. All right, so this is what we're looking like. I'm not really loving it, but you know, I just keep trying. I don't know, my skin honestly like rejects cream bronzer. I don't know why, but it is like always a struggle for me and I just see other people blend effortlessly and it looks perfect and I don't understand why. It just won't for me. So I'm just using my Too Faced Born This Way concealer, which is one of my favorites. I'm gonna get the product off this sponge. I'm hoping that once we do like blush and everything, the look will somewhat come together so I don't look absolutely insane. But so far, you know, I'm not loving the eyes or the bronzer. So I'm gonna set my T-zone with my Huda powder. And I'm gonna use my Dior powder with this Beauty Blender Puff just to go over that bronzer. Yeah, I feel like it looks like I barely even put any on. <laughs> Oy. I do wanna try out this powder foundation from Essence, maybe just a little bit of it. This is the 16 hour cover in last. I had a hard time choosing, oh wow, a lot comes off. I had a hard time choosing a shade. I picked up Classic Vanilla and the shade range was not great, so just keep that in mind, but this is the shade 05. All right, so I don't know if you can see this, but that bronzer completely like patched off my forehead. <laughs> All right, at this point, that Pacifica cream bronzer was not it, so I'm just going in heavy with the Jaclyn Cosmetics in Skinny Dip. I actually really like this. Honestly, I can't fix the patching, so I'm just going to pretty much bronze all over and just, you know, let it ride just because it's a trying to make up. I don't want to remove everything, but something with that Pacifica bronzer was not working with my skin. All right, so next I want to try what I'm probably most excited about, which are the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Blushes. I typically love cream blushes, so let's hope for a better experience with this. So I picked up two different shades. I know there's more available on the e.l.f. website, but I just got two from Ulta. This one is what I'm most excited about, which is called Isle del Sol, and this is the bright shade. So I like the original putty blushes. They're more of a buildable formula. These are the luminous version. So I wanna swatch this. Yeah, so there's a luminosity to them, but there's no like glitter or anything like that. And then I wanna swatch the next one, which is called Bermuda. So this one's more of like a mauvey pink. I mean, you know I'm gonna go with the orange one, but we might as well just swatch this. Maybe I'll add a little bit of this because this kind of matches my eyes. So this one's called Bermuda. So they definitely seem more sheer, but I feel like you can build them up. So let's start out actually with Bermuda. I like to start with a more sheer or like neutral shade. So I'm gonna start applying to the skin. Let me zoom you in so you can see this. Okay, so that is pretty. There's no like chunky glitter or anything like that. It's not lifting or anything. That's why I don't understand the issue that I have with cream bronzer because I can use cream blushes over powder even. So this is the Bermuda shade, which is more pink. I'm just really building it up. So now I'm gonna dip into the brighter shade here and just really go for it. Ooh, that is beautiful. Look at that color. Oh yeah, I actually really like both, but this one immediately, yes. So I'm actually gonna take some on the sides of my nose. So this is what the luminous blushes look like. They're really beautiful. They're not over the top luminous, but they do definitely give you a glow. I think these are really beautiful. So I'm gonna go in next with this Might As Shell ColourPop Highlight Palette. So I feel like these are, yes, these are all super shock formula. Maybe I'll mix like the gold and the like purple lilac. These are definitely pretty, but they're not really vibing with what I have on. So I'm just mixing the gold and then the pink one that shifts. Hopefully it won't be too much. Okay, these are glittery. I can see the glitter, not my favorite. 
You know, today just ain't it for me, honey. This is how, okay, I don't like that. Like up close, there's like glitter all over. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna um, say no to that. Dang, I'm just like striking out. I'm gonna go in with this Beauty Pie highlighter that I've been absolutely obsessed with. This is like seriously on par with ABH Omrezy. So good. This is in the color Knockout Gold. I just did an ad with them for Instagram. Obviously, this is not sponsored, but this was one of the products. This and the cream blush, like I'm obsessed with. Look at that. And I just love like a gold tone. It's not too deep. It's that baked gelé formula. Honestly, going to town with this highlighter. So because I really just don't like my makeup, I'm not even going to bother trying to like do something on my lower lashes. I'm just going to apply mascara and be done with it just because I already know that I just don't really love what's happening, but you know, at least we tried the products. So for lips, I'm just going to use my Buxom Undercover Lip Liner. So for lipstick, I'm gonna use this Jaclyn Cosmetics. This is her lip cushion in Sincerely Yours. I really like these lip cushions. They're very much like a whipped sort of formula. And then to finish off, I wanna try this Milky Gloss from NYX in the color uh, Mango. This is such a beautiful color. Look how bright that is. I love like a bright gloss. Hopefully it shows up over this. And I love, ooh, this smells so good. This smells like mango. I have the red one from them and a nude one. But I saw this color, oh my God, it smells so good. And I was like, yes, I need that. Okay guys, so here's my finished makeup look, trying out new products. We have some hits, we have some bad misses, and I really just don't love the makeup that I did, but sometimes that happens. So let's go over my thoughts on the product, starting out with the Lawless Gloss. I know that I love this. I love a red tinted gloss. I love the formula on this. You can use it as a lip treatment or a gloss. This is just one of my favorites, and this smells great. Not loving the ColourPop palette that I used. Something got muddy and I feel like the tones in here almost clash a little bit to make you look a little bit sick. I almost felt like when I was mixing the pink with the peachy shade, I just looked a little bit ill almost, which is just not my favorite vibe. So this is not something I would tell you to run out and buy. Now in terms of the Essence products, we have some good, we have some not so good. So let's start off with the Glow Serum Primer. I feel like this is a nice primer. I feel like my skin does look quite glowy. Now I did put this all over and then I topped it with the Gripping Primer. So maybe both of them together is a little bit much. This feels really nice, has a watermelon smell to it. It is very similar to the Glow Recipe, a little bit more gel-like. So I think this is going to be a hit. It might be something that I just avoid my pore area with, but I really like this. Now, the gripping primer, it didn't feel as intensely gripping as I was anticipating. The only thing I've noticed with gripping primers in general, and I noticed it here today, I feel like sometimes my foundation applies patchy. I don't know if it's because in certain areas it's super sticky, other areas it's not. And again, it could be because I mixed all of this together. So I have to keep testing this out. It just wasn't as intense of a gripping primer as let's say like the e.l.f. or the Milk Makeup. And again, I noticed a little bit of like patching on you know my lower jawline area. That's something that I've noticed with a lot of gripping primers. So I'll have to keep testing this out. And again, the Givenchy foundation, I loved it the other day that I used it. And I still can see the sort of like luminosity, but with a matte finish, which is kind of hard to come by. So I think I'm really gonna like this, but I just feel like I've mixed it with so many products that I do believe the gripping primer was causing a little bit of that lifting or patching. So I'll keep using this. I think it's gonna become a favorite uh, when I use it with my normal like hourglass primer. Unfortunately, I don't like like this Pacifica Sun Dreams bronzer. I don't know what it is, but this is a very sheer formula, so you do have to build it up. There's something about this tone even that pulls red almost, I don't know, like almost like a blush hybrid, and I felt like even building it up, I still wasn't able to get much definition or anything. 
but beyond that this patched even on an unset face now I have that issue with a lot of cream bronzers this was one of the worst defenders though I don't know I just feel like it was really patchy I couldn't get it to stick in certain areas and then it was just really sheer so if you've tried this let me know this is like brand brand new I mean, I just, I don't know. I keep trying with the cream bronzers and I keep striking out. So, you know, I'll keep giving it a try, but I just don't anticipate really liking that. I love the new Jaclyn pressed bronzers. Like, I love them. I've been using vitamin D and skinny dip. Skinny, or no, skinny dip. Skinny dip is a little bit more yellow toned, I would say. Vitamin D is more neutral, leaning more cool. But I just love this formula. I applied it over top just to really try to even things out. But at that point, when you have so much patching, there's not much you can do. So I feel like this definitely helped tone things down. But without the patching of the Pacifica, I have been really enjoying these bronzers from Jaclyn. Also going to have to keep testing out this Essence Powder Foundation. I do want to try this on a day when I'm not using liquid just as a powder foundation. The shade I got is a little bit light, obviously, for my fresh tan, but this would work for me when my tan uh, goes away. So I really want to try this and see what kind of coverage I can get, see how smoothing it is. So this will be something I will give a try in the coming weeks, and we'll see if it works for me or if it's just not going to be a favorite. By far, the biggest standout wow product of the day has to be the Luminous Blushes from e.l.f. These are so beautiful. They're not overly pigmented, but they're not sheer. So you can just do one layer for a light flush or you can build them up. And that's something that I like because I feel like the Rare Beauty is so intense and it's like, whoa, you have to be careful and then you have a hard time getting it, you know, blended in without looking a little bit crazy. And then you have other formulas that are so incredibly sheer that it's like nothing showing up. This is a great in-between. I love both shades that I picked up. This pinky shade is gorgeous. And then, of course, I really love this bright orange shade. There's no glitter. It's just a very subtle radiance. It doesn't feel overly sticky or, you know, it didn't patch or anything like that. It really is a beautiful, beautiful formula. I think they added just the right amount of luminosity because there's been some formulas that I've tried that are just very, very luminous, almost leaning like highlighter to where it's making my texture look bad. These are not that. They did the perfect amount. I think the these are one of my new favorite products, and especially at their price tag, I think people are going to love these. Unfortunately, another dud for me has to be this ColourPop palette. I'm not a huge fan of the Super Shock formula for highlighters. Something about these are just glittery though. Like when I started applying them, I just felt like glitter was getting all over my face and it was looking patchy. I'm not really into the duochrome shades anymore, to be honest. I like a standard, just like champagne gold highlighter, like the Beauty Pie one that I used. I'm pretty boring when it comes to highlighter, so this is just not something that I would ever reach for again. And lastly, I love these glosses from NYX, the This Is Milky Gloss. So they have like original shades, and then they came out with these sort of fun ones that have different scents. So I have the Cherry one, which is really pigmented, a beautiful red. And then this one is the Mango. I just love the milky color, but I like that they have pigment. I have said many times, I feel like a lot of lip products on the market are way too sheer. So when they come out with 10 shades, it doesn't make sense to me, like why, if they all look the same. So I really appreciate that they actually did put enough pigment in these to really show up and give a different variation when you buy different shades. So this is definitely another drugstore favorite of mine. Okay guys, so that is everything for this trying new makeup. Let me know, honestly, by giving this video a thumbs up and leaving comments, if you want to see more drugstore products on my channel, I'm definitely more of like a Sephora Ulta gal in terms of like, I like high-end products myself personally. I have nothing against drugstore, but sometimes I feel like I have to like really weed through a lot of products that don't work for me just to find the gems, and it ends up being a lot of products that I waste my money on. So it's like, you know, the e.l.f. Luminous blushes, absolutely love them, but the Pacifica bronzer, $16, and I... Like, I don't like it. I probably will never use it again. So just let me know down below if you'd like more drugstore products included in trying new makeup videos, and I will do my best to do so. I'm still only going to purchase stuff that I'm really excited about, though, just because I feel like there's certain products that really just don't get me hyped, and I was really genuinely excited to try these products. That's why I bought them. So I will leave a link to everything that I use today down below in my description box. I want to know your thoughts on how the products applied. Have you tried them? Did you have a good experience or not? I 
always love chatting in the comments. If you're new here, I hope you stick around and subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.